So now I need to know this. How many of you are building your uh, house on solid ground? Uh-huh. Yeah, I see you peeping around there. Did you raise your hand, Yeah. How many of you are building your house on solid ground? Amazing. So, Ed, you raise your hand? What is solid ground? <clears throat> For me, solid ground is not building it on my imagination. That's, That's a, it's a very big thing with me. Okay. It's very easy to make up what you think is solid ground. All right. So you're building your house on solid ground by not living your imagination. Right. That's that's number one. Number one. Yeah, for me. Is there number two? <laughs> I suppose. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I, if I do right. number one, well, you don't need a number two. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, let me see the hands who are building. Don't be afraid. All right. Put it back up. That's right. She's like afraid to put. It. Joya, you're building your house on solid ground. What do you mean by that? Um. Just by seeing what's in front of me to do. And, and again, do. this is not a contest. This is a fellowship. That's all it is, all right? So no right or wrong answers. We are fellowshipping together. Yes? Just by seeing what's in front of me to do and doing the right thing. Okay. Give it to the young lady right in front of you. You're building your house on solid ground. You had your hand, right? Yeah. And what is solid ground for you? For me, it's putting God first. Is what? Putting God first in, in decisions I make. Playing God? No, no, putting God first. Oh, putting God first. Oh, I thought you said <laughs> playing God first. Okay, all right. Did you have your hand, sir? Yes, sir. And you're building your house on solid ground. Building, yes. And what is solid ground? I think it's you? humbling myself and coming here and listening to this. It's important. All right. Okay. Uh, the young man in the white hat inside the building. You're building your house on. Are you you building your house on solid ground? Yes. And what is solid ground for you? Um, it, it's being honest to myself about myself and, and what I am. Okay. Interesting. The young man, you had your hand, right? Yes. You're building your house on solid ground, right? Yes. And what is solid ground? Uh, starting with the, the love of God. The love of God. Yeah. Okay. And searching for the kingdom within. Okay. Yeah, that's that's how. To rebuilding my foundation. Yeah. The one thing that God wants us to do is to build our house on solid ground because if you don't, any little situation, it's called the wind will blow it away, right? But any challenge, any situation, Satan can whisper in your ear, ears, and your house would be down. It would be gone. <coughs> and so he encouraged you to build it on solid ground. And um, I want to encourage you to do that. And what solid ground is, is love. You got to love. God is love. And he wants you to build it on love. Because you can pray until the cows come home. You can read the Bible until you're black and blue in the face. You can live on top of the hill. You can have all the richest friends and money and be all sophisticated. But if you, don't have, if you don't have love, you have nothing. You really have nothing. And the world is set up so that you don't have love. They offer you fake love. They offer you emotional love. They offer you hatred between one another. Free stuff. But they are not offering you love. So you need love. And, that, and when things come along, people turn on you. People lie on you. They try to whatever they do, it would not move you. You would see how to deal with it, but you would not be moved. Your house would not be moved. But if you have, don't have love, you could be shaken up and blown away just like that. You could be blown away if you don't have love. And I'm going to get to some more of that in a minute. Yes, sir. I was told that I would not end the meeting at 1230 today. I'm going to make that person out of lie. We're going to end the meeting at 1230. Go ahead. Speaking on building your house on love, yeah. um, don't you say we don't have love to give? So how can we build our house on love? That's a good point. By realizing you don't have love to give and repent for hating, then God's love will come into you. Mm -hmm. And you'll be guided by that love. So building it on God's love, not our own love. Or whatever. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Because we don't have love. Human beings do not have love. Uh-huh. Either you have that phony love that comes from hatred, all the emotional crap, mm-hmm. or the real deal that comes from God. You can't feel it, you can't taste it, you can't touch it, uh, but you live by it. Absolutely. Cool. Which one do you have? Uh, I mostly my reality has been the no emotional type of the love, like like you're describing, like the God's love. You say love. what now? I say uh, the my experience of life as of late has been the no emotional type of love, the uh, the just being kind of like how you recommend, and. Uh, God's love rather than my own. I well, suppose. be careful that Satan is not convincing you to have the no emotional love. Uh-huh. Because what I've noticed now, I understand why two people don't pray, is that Satan convince you, well, I don't feel anything. Uh-huh. And you can control your own emotion pretending you're not feeling things. So make sure that's not happening. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah. It's, you were talking about this uh, false false awareness that satan gives yeah. you yeah and uh i think that's totally real man like yeah, yeah. it is real yeah man. and and because i could talk about god's love and satan makes you think oh well he said no emotion so you have no emotions right mm-hmm. and then he makes you feel you have no emotions so a situation would come along and you just hold back your emotions about it eventually you will explode on some other situation because the emotions are still there it's just that he has convinced you to control him because Jesse said love is no emotion. Mm-hmm. Have anybody noticed that? Yeah. And mm-hmm. then down the road, something happened, you don't realize it, you're off the cuff. Because once emotions are gone in that way, they're gone, period. They don't come back. It's, something, it's not something you control, right. can control. Go ahead. I don't, there's, I don't really have any more to say. <laughs> so about the emotion, is it real emotion or control emotion that you... Let go of the controlling aspect of it for sure. Yeah. Well, then you still have it. Like trying to control, like my emotion. Like, what are you asking? You're asking. Do you try to control your emotions? No. Okay. They are just gone. Period. Not all. Not all. Not all. But most. <laughs> 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 so you still have it then. Well, yeah, I, I would say. Well, you know, you know that I'm an actor, and like that's your whole job is to be, you know, have these emotions and be. A, but that's like in the moment, you know. Right. When you're doing. You just use that for the movie. Totally. Yeah. But by and large, in in life and the day to day, nah. There's really it's just being. This is so important too because you you either have it or you don't have it, right? Yeah. Because situations will come along that you're not even aware is on the way. And if you don't have that perfect love, you'll find yourself going off because people do some crazy stuff. And sometimes it should be surprising. But if you love them anyway, it won't bother you. You'll understand mm-hmm. where they're coming from. Watching that situation like you're watching a movie. Like, like that, that was really helpful for me. Just like, you know, not getting all wrapped up in whatever's going on. If they're like coming at you or just... Just not having any opinions about it. It's like Satan telling them, you know what? George doesn't have any emotion. I need you to check up on him. (laughs) And they are to get on you about the crazy, you were not even thinking of certain things. And somebody come up with something that's absolutely crazy. And then try to make you think that it's real. I'm like, no, it's not real. I'm not thinking that. It's crazy. But if you have perfect love, you understand it. It has to be real. Right. And, 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 like, it can't be 99.9%. It's got to be 100. It's like got to be 100. Yeah. Because the thing I've noticed about God, when he takes it away from you, all of it is gone. He doesn't take a little bit. You're not getting better along the way. If you're getting better along the way, you are in control. And your dad is Satan. God's not going to let you get better along the way. When he brings you out of hell, you're out of hell. It's not like, well, I'm almost out. I felt better today. I didn't overreact to this situation or that situation. It's like when, you, when, when, you, when he brings you back into the light, you're in the light. You're not halfway in the light and halfway out. It's not a process. 
I hear a lot of people saying, it's a, pro- well, it's a process. No, it's not. No process. I only know if God heard that word before. It's not a process. You're either free or you're enslaved. That makes sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you doing a silent prayer every morning? Yeah. Night? Okay. Stay with it, man. 